In the midterm elections, close to 2,600,000 votes were cast in Arizona. As Olivia Doles tells us now, almost two weeks after the election, the final results are in. A little over 3,300 votes were left to count. And as of this afternoon, Maricopa County released the final results, and it appears the race for Arizona superintendent and in public instruction and attorney general will be heading to a recount because they fall within the half of 1% margin. The Maricopa County Elections Office says today's count included provisional ballots and those with cured signatures under review, but there have been a number of legal challenges. Over the weekend, the Arizona, Arizona Attorney's General Office Election Integrity Unit sent a letter to Maricopa County asking them to formally address concerns related to the election, including printing problems and checkout procedures. The AG's office has given the county a November 28th deadline to respond. That's the same day all 15 county boards are required to certify their election results. However, the Cochise County Board of Supervisors voted last Friday to put a hold on certifying their election results, citing concerns over their voting machines. That delay can potentially jeopardize state certification, which is set for December 5th. I reached out to the Arizona Secretary of State's office about this. They told me they expect all counties to certify by November 28th. After that date, they will take legal action if necessary. In the newsroom, Olivia Doles, Cronkite News.